Hello everyone, and welcome to Things in Itself, where if I brush over the fishbowl, it says fishbowl, and the fish's name is Henry, and the music is really creepy. I'm not sure what to expect in this game, so I guess we'll just begin the story and find out. Things in Itself is an interactive short story. It is not a game in the traditional sense. It doesn't present challenge to the player and doesn't have win or lose conditions. We hope you enjoy it. Sounds good. I'm up for that. I just got done playing Celeste, so I could use a non-challenging game to play for an hour, 15 minutes, whatever long this game takes. Prologue. Ooh, we got chapters. It's so dark here. And voice acting. I can't acting. even see my fingers. Like, we're in a cardboard box. I know. Good thing we're actually in a bed in this spacious room. Okay. It's not that spacious. But it's bigger than a box, right? <laughs> I guess. Although... I used to like playing in those when I was little. Same girl, same. I imagined I was a princess in my own castle. I didn't do that one, though. Did you do anything like that, Teddy? Of course, I did, actually. I did that all the time. Uh, mostly zoos course, and stuff. I used to have a huge box from my mom's fridge. Aww. It was a spaceship and a treasure cave, depending on the day. That's so cute. That's very practical. They should do more of those at NASA. They should. Did you have fun at the party? Yeah, I did. Thanks, Molly. Your friends are great. Wine was great. The mm. music, though. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I was about the fault. music. But I think my ears still bleed uh, a little. A little I know. I was one song away from a mental breakdown. What I don't get is everybody there heard the same sound, right? From the same freaking air vibrations. If we hated it so much, how come they were so into it? Well, I can see two options. Oh, one, nice. get a choice. we are judgmental oh. assholes. Ouch. Or two, have you heard the expression thing in itself? Title of the game, guys. Uh, so think of what? I'm gonna just be totally open. So. What's that? Let her explain it to it's us. It's a philosophical concept by Immanuel Kant. I do know who that is, I though. think it could help us rationalize our shitty moral character, which Kant probably didn't intend it for. That one. Tell me about that one. Okay. So, imagine there is nothing around A black screen, for nothing example. Nothing at all. <laughs> and think of one specific object. Chair, guitar, or a lamp? I will probably go with a chair. My old chair? Sure. The simpler Ooh. the better. So you know what it looks ah, like? Sorry, that how was big fun. it is? <laughs> how much it weighs roughly? Yeah. That's what you think. Guess what? That stuff is completely irrelevant to how it actually is. Okay. Everything in the world, every single object, you see through a prism of who you are. It is your own version of it, not its real self. To you, it seems light, but a child, for instance, would think it's huge, oh, that's cool. movable. You think it's brown, but maybe I see it as blue, and um, Henry here sees it as green. Who's to say who's right? Henry's the best. Uh, Henry's yeah. a fish. <laughs> Doesn't he see it in black and white? It's dog silly. Damn it. <laughs> you see? You think you know something but you don't understand its true nature. And the essence of any given thing will always be kind of a secret to you, or a thing in itself. Chair. Long story short, the tasteless music you hear is totally shaped by yourself. Oh, good. The good part is that it's nobody's fault. Bad part is that people will never truly understand each other. Sounds depressing, too complicated, or that's amazing. I always thought, like, I've heard this theory a bunch, especially considering I took psychology. I guess oh. I'll just let that sink in. Well, okay, so we have to speed run this. I didn't realize I'm so that. <laughs> I'm gonna shut down, okay? I'm gonna you shut know, Molly, down. What type of what? language is that? I'm really happy with that. Me too. Thanks again for hanging out with my friends tonight. It's so sweet. It was lovely. I was gonna say that sounds depressing, because that's how I always saw it, never being able to truly understand each other, though there's a lot of truth to it. So that's what I was gonna click, but maybe I have to click and then explain things. Act 1. There's a door. I'm assuming. Oh boy, I forgot that I live in garbage. Okay, so we're the dad. I should quickly clean up before that. Sure, sure. Or before the trash will take over and dissolve my body, which honestly might happen sooner. Okay, be a bit, uh, a bit distressing. Molly likes it when I wear this shirt. She says I look like Waldo's sexy cousin. Lovely. Okay, so I assume I would put the shirt in the wardrobe. Yep, there's the wardrobe. 
Yeah, I am I'm all for clean <laughs> the bottle, that's hilarious. I like how how it tastes. To shakes. me, whiskey normally tastes like dirt. But when Molly suggested to try it as a body shot, the difference is uncanny. So we have that. Molly wanted Henry to like her and try to feed him. At least she meant well. Why was Are you that? hungry, Henry? I have some food flakes for you. You want food, Henry? I like Henry. Here you go, Henry. There you go. Have a good appetite. Don't swim for half an hour after. Yeah, I like I like how it's a weird art style this game. It's kinda of fun. I've been reading up on German philosophy ever since that conversation with Molly. Yeah, I should I treat would those too. books with more respect. I treat all my books with for the whole no, there's weekend, much respect we didn't as step I should and ain't nothing but delivered pizza. We live in a wonderful time. <laughs> that sounds not great to me. I like I like going outside. I I but you know. Uh eating a lot of delivered pizza, I'm okay with that. And then we have this, which is a We could bottle. either get a bottle of that good Chianti, or three bottles of this cheap crap. There is something about lousy wine that makes it more fun. I don't drink, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I like the narration and the voice acting, that's fun. Uh, I hear this is going Things to be a bit more common. Things got out of hand this Sunday. I don't want to touch this pillow anymore. Okay, ew. Okay, we'll just... It yep. feels so warm with her under the blankets. <laughs> no. Not hot, mm, not uh -huh. stuffy, just warm. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the descriptions. I didn't want to read. Thanks. Okay, everything looks clean. That looks better, doesn't it? Oh, not them tickle. Oh, gosh. Right click. Uh, Molly's calling. Hi, Molly. Hey. Hey. I'll let you in in a second. The buzz is broken. Wait. Wait, don't go outside. Sorry, I actually called to say that I don't Aww, think I'll make it today. The cleans! Oh. Yeah, it, it wasn't a very good day, and I think I just need a little space right That's now. That's understandable, though. Uh, let's ask her if everything's um, okay. Of course. I, Would yeah. you like to talk about it? No, it's fine, thanks. I'll just take a rain check tonight. You know what, it's okay? perfectly understandable. Sure. Yeah. Let me know if I can help you with anything. I will. Thanks for understanding. We'll Hope just, you have a good night. We'll order more pizza. Yeah? Order more pizza? Is that what's gonna happen? Huh. Did you hear that, Henry? <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me tonight, buddy. So, yeah, I I understand people needing space when they have a bad day. That's how I am. I'm a, uh, I don't want to interact with anyone when I'm upset type of person, more so than wanting to talk to it about people. Like, I just want to be left alone, so... You have 100 messages. I thought it said 100 messages, and I was like, no! No, it's one new voicemail. Sure, let's listen. What we got? Head. I wanted to do the semi-decent thing and talk with you instead of sending a text, but fair. now I'm kind of glad I got the voicemail. Also fair. I know what she's going to anyway, say, don't I? I don't think we should see each other anymore. Oof. Fuck. Oh, okay. I know everybody says that, and that everybody says they know that, but I swear it's nothing you've done. I just can't manage a relationship. Oh, the room's going red. I thought I could, but I was wrong. It's just not working out for me. Don't wait for anything. Please, go out, maybe, or hook don't. up with somebody. Let's, or even, or yeah. don't. I don't know. Whatever will make you feel better. Please try to be okay. Bye. Well. What the hell? Semi-decent <laughs> thing. What did she even mean by that? I thought everything was going so well that I need to call her. Do we though? Could we not? I mean, usually the best thing. Oh, so I could call her, send a text. Okay, so I could send like an angry text, a self conscious text, a begging text. Uh, no, no, that's mean. No, no, I'm. No. Wow, these are awful. This one though, on it, it says begging and it sounds like one of the worst ones, but honestly this is what I would want to do. I wouldn't want to call them out right, uh, because that feel like they may not, they just want to close off the door and you should just be okay with that and let them, but being like, hey, but I personally would like to talk about it, can we? I would send a text like this preferably over, especially not those three, these three texts are awful, don't text those, uh, but also over calling because I think it's more proper to give them a chance to also want to call. I sent it. There's no point in writing again. Yeah, agree. So you're gonna make me call her? I oh, know okay. she read it. She's always on her phone. 
There's no point in writing again. Oh, we got the message. We got the message. It's a bit slow. Sorry, I don't think it'll be a good idea. Seriously, I know you'll be all right. Fuck Hang in there. This. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Pizza. Hook up with somebody. Or maybe I will. Or maybe you don't. I think I even still have that stupid dating app on or my phone. Or we could just somewhere. not. I think angry dating is maybe not. I should just go and get wasted on that that's, bottle of that's also shit not she likes so no, much. No, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think. Okay. I don't think. I don't think. Ooh. Okay, things we're not gonna do. We're not gonna hook up with someone because you're gonna only end up hurting them, especially if through a dating website where their intention is like to get in a relationship. That's just wrong. We're not gonna do that. Uh, as for getting drunk, that's also usually a bad idea. Honestly, I vote ice cream and a crappy movie. Stupid boy. No, I'm not. I refuse. I'm not doing it. Should I really go out at this hour? Maybe. You know what? Let's go out. A walk will clear your head. If I don't get some air. Yeah, no, yeah. getting clearing air is a good thing. Let's let's clear your head. I'm gonna try to do this as I would do this and make sure this guy doesn't do anything stupid. That's my goal in this game. We'll see how well we go. Then again, I've never had my heart broken, so maybe I who knows. But we're not hooking up with someone, so I think that's a good progress. Ah. We're back. I hate waking up to a turn on TV. Worst I don't know things. why, but it makes you feel guilty. Like you've done something bad or really embarrassing. Just don't have a TV in your room. <laughs> Maybe I'm projecting. Why is the fish boot That is how I feel all the time now. Let's feed the fish. At least I can switch the TV off. Yeah, agree. I should feed Henry. At least one of us shouldn't be suffering. No, I agree. Let's feed. But she never learned to... Oh, well, don't make it depressing. Henry? But... <gasps> Buddy? No! No! no. No, 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 no. <laughs> damn it. Poor, poor guy. <laughs> I actually feel this one. I should take him to the bathroom and flush him away. Oh, you're very... Oh. So... Not Henry. I like... So it's interesting, like, all the descriptions, which she never took um, behind what she took on very, really long showers and stuff like that. Oh. I'm so sorry, Henry. Bye. That... You are a great friend. That is heartbreaking. Oh. Yeah. It's just... Well. I need to talk with Molly. Do we, though? Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should... Whiskey that doesn't taste as bad anymore. No, I want I want to throw this away. Let's throw away the whiskey. No, we're gonna we're gonna have to talk to Molly. Are we gonna let her know the fish died? Yeah, I think that's better than calling. I don't think she'll be up for calling, but we should let her know she was attached to the fish too. You know, it was a mutual pet. And she... Oh hi. Oh, she I'm gets that. So sorry. Okay. I know how much he meant to you. He was great. He did. He was and great. He was, he was a good fish. I only knew him for like five seconds, but he seemed to forget he was that wonderful. Day. Are you okay? Um. I love you. Oh. What? Don't do that. Ted. I know. I know. You oh. don't want a relationship. You don't want me to get attached or the standard crap. When I did, I'm sorry. You know, he I needs don't know to talk how to respond. Out too. No, you want dreams? What about I have those you? dreams about you, where we were still together. And even she during a dream, I hope too. that it's for real, and but I know it isn't. Broke up, so she has to listen Waking to up it. after that, it really sucks. I know, both need to that talk it. doesn't sound fun. Yeah. yeah. I kind of want to stop. I don't think he should say any of the it other things. It must be so hard for you to hear, but I can't force myself to feel another See, way. See, I've been in her position a ton, so I, like, I feel for her too. For this, actually. We had so much fun together. But she just, she's just. Wouldn't it be it. nice to have a box to hide and play in right now? Oh. It would be perfect. This is really sad. Uh. It's a road trip. I remember our road trip to Virginia. There we go, yeah. We're back I don't to know how you talked me into that, but I have to admit, it was awesome. So peaceful and beautiful. Road trip's nice. I kind of. I don't. Personally, don't want to dive yeah. into the other two topics. Just I will always be grateful for what we had together. For everything. Yeah. You're such a sweet guy, oh. but I can't do this. Please try to understand me. I thought you said it's not possible. What is it? 
to really understand anybody. Oh. Well, uh, let's, Frank, let's not do that. I did. Ted, I am sorry about all this. And about Henry. This sucks. I know. Thanks. Honestly, it was really big of I know call. you'll be okay. I and appreciate that. And Ted, I think this is a good conversation. Yeah. I don't think we should talk anymore. But I also think that's fair. It will be better this way for both of us. Ooh, wow. Well, she's, she's right. She's right. She's right. It All is right. better. Yep. I'll hang up now. Yep. Hope you feel better soon. She she let him have his like Bye. last talk that he personally needed, and I think that's great Bye. of her and really big of her, especially considering she broke up with him. Ooh. They're just objects now. Chair. The chair is not an object. Because the chair is a thing I fixed. Oh, lights out. Thing in itself. Wow, that was that was pretty good. I a bit deeper than I thought. I wasn't I had no clue what I was expecting, but that was yeah, it's a breakup and it's gonna be hard for the guy, but at the end of the day, I think that's how you should handle yourself. You should have had that last call. I think she needed that. She probably needed that and didn't realize it, and that the fish dying was a good way to get the call, something good came out of that. But I also think her not wanting to be in a relationship is fair. Him still wanting to be is also fair, but them separating ways and, you know, saying goodbye was the best way, best way to handle that. And there you go. It's a small little game. A little bit of in-depth stuff, how to handle heartbreak. You now know how I would handle heartbreak if I ever got a breakup, probably what I would do. Because uh, I forced this poor guy into that. Like, we're not drinking. We're not going to go have a hookup or anything. We're going we're gonna to talk it out with her. And we're going to move on and keep going and buy something, a pet that lasts longer than a goldfish. Would be my next recommendation. Because losing fish constantly is not healthy as someone who's lost two within like a year of each other it's just it's not it's not a healthy thing to lose pets constantly so uh i recommend upgrading to a gerbil or even he seems like he could handle a cat or a dog he seems to be pretty stable enough for that so maybe trying trying a, a pet like that that's my next recommendation for him personally but we are gonna end this here i hope you found this as interesting as i did and yeah i also hope you have a beautiful and blessed day and we'll talk to you guys next time Bye.